Hello. Today we're going to be testing Starlink based out of Louisiana. This is the second day that we've had Starlink. Today it's a cloudy day. It's rainy. It's cold. It's about 40 degrees. Yeah, and we're going to just start a speed test right off the bat. We're also going to be testing some game downloads from Steam and Battle.net and as well as download tests just straight out of the browser. So you can see right off the bat, I'm getting let's see to about 250 250 on a cold cloudy day in Louisiana and our upload speed is cool so our down was 256 and our upload was 8.79 megabits per second now the second thing I'm going to do is now run that same speed test again but I'm really curious on how it impacts latency so the first thing I'm going to do is run a ping test to Cloudflare. And what this command does is just, it lets me ping that IP and endlessly, like it won't stop. It will, it will continuously keep pinging that IP. So just not doing anything on Starlink. Um, I'm seeing like 32s, some 40s, some 30s. Seems to average around maybe like 35 maybe it looks fine that's not that's really lovely ping I like that so I want to run a speed test at the same time as we are pinging Cloudflare right now um oh oh it had a little hiccup there but we're gonna run we're gonna run that speed test now and I'm curious to see if it impacts latency when you're using a ton of bandwidth on the thing so right off the bat I'm seeing my speed struggling for whatever reason right now. Um, but I can definitely see my latency freaking out. So this could be a factor of many different things that could be happening right now. Maybe there's like some satellites far away or whatever like that. But our upload speed seems to be a lot better. Previously it was 8. Now we're seeing 19, up to 19 right now. 17, 16, and dropping. And our ping seems to be back to normal. So... My worry is that if you're using a ton of bandwidth on your network, which obviously I think what is a is a problem, I believe is a problem on every internet provider. If you're obviously sucking up too much bandwidth, it's gonna impact your latency. I think I'm not too sure if that is a thing on every single case scenario for every ISP or whatever, but I'm gonna run that speed test again and see how well it impacts latency again. Yeah, so we're seeing some lower speeds right now. And I know lately on the Starlink subreddit, there have been some people reporting of latency issues jumping all around all over the place. So this also could be a factor in that kind of thing. So I, yeah, I'm noticing that using a ton of bandwidth, you know, just 100 megabit, we can see that our, our latency is very high. But it doesn't seem too bad on the upload side. You know, we're getting 10 upload and it seems okay. I, I'm coming from internet where you just upload on 2 megabit upload and like it kills my internet. So that makes me very happy to see. So now I'm going to do a test from thinkbroadband.com. They provide some basic test files to download to just test your internet. Um, so I'm going to download this through first the browser and then I'm going to try it through the command line. And it's finished. And it didn't feel that long in comparison to my last ISP I had. I was previously getting 30 down and 2 up. So I'm pretty happy with that result as long as it's way faster than what I had already. <laughs> so we're going to do the same download test except uh, in the terminal with wget. So let me just come to my desktop here. And we're going to run wget and then that, that uh, link to the download. So this is just a download a file through the command line.
cool. So the beautiful thing about wget is that it actually told me how long it took to download that file. So it downloaded in 3 minutes and 18 seconds. So that is pretty good in comparison to my previous internet, which would take about 5 minutes to download a 1 gigabyte file. Even though the speeds were all over the place, like fluctuating crazy amounts of everywhere, that's still faster than what I previously had. But obviously it would be a lot better if it didn't fluctuate so much and you know consistently stayed to its uh, maximum potential of like I think what 300. So that would be better if it were uh, more stable and didn't fluctuate as much. But there may be some things going on today that might be causing uh, some issues with Starlink. So I'm starting this channel just mainly to try out Starlink and just do testing with Starlink and to show everyone in Louisiana and just the South how interesting this project is. So if you you want me to test something specifically, just let me know in the comments. Uh, please subscribe if you don't want to miss the testing videos. See ya.